All right, back at you with another uh, comparison video here, another pumpkin video. Previously, we did uh, semi-automatic pistols. If you missed that, I'll leave a link in the description. Make sure you go and check that out. Uh, so today, we're doing shotguns. I got 410, 20-gauge, 12-gauge. These are all slugs, but I also brought some buckshot with me, so we're going to do that as well. Now, the 20 and 12-gauge are both Winchester Super X uh, rifled slugs. I've been trying to find the 410s all freaking year and you just cannot find those anywhere unless you want to pay three to four dollars per shot at an online auction site. Um, so what this one is are these and I recently did a video on these but I'm not going to use this one. I only used it for the picture because those come in at a relatively low velocity of like 1500 feet per second if I remember correctly in the review video. So what I am going to use are these Barnall, these metal cased ones, okay? And these actually coming out at 1,700 feet per second range. Uh, again, if I remember correctly, uh, I did both of these in the same video and sent some over the Chronos. So uh, these ones, like I said, it's more photogenic. So that's why I put that up there. But these are actually kind of a light load. So I will be using the Barnall instead. You might hear a couple clicks on that because in that video I had an issue getting those to go off. Uh, the primers are a little bit hard. For the buckshot, this is what I have here. Now, I would love to do all three, you know, double lot buckshot, but I don't have that available. And again, you can't really find anything for 410. And double lot, most of you know, if you have a 20 gauge, it's really hard to find a 20 gauge. Um, a lot of people think that, oh, a 20 gauge is more powerful than a 410, and a 12 gauge is even more powerful. And that's sort of true, but sort of not. So, most shells, whether it's a 410, a 20 gauge, or a 12 gauge, uh, you know, buckshot. Most of them, they're all coming out at 12 to 1300 feet per second. So per pellet, it's actually pretty much the same if you shoot it out of a 410 as you, as if you do from a 12 gauge because they're pretty much the same velocity. They're at least real close in velocity. Uh, the only difference is obviously with the larger uh, gauges, you get more pellets on your target. So you get a greater hit percentage or you get more hits. And uh, with more hits, you do of course get a higher calculated energy. But as far as the damage that each pellet will do, if they're coming out at the same velocity, they're not going to do one single pellet's not going to do any more damage out of a 12 gauge than it is out of a 410. So these are, I know these are for handgun, uh, but I commonly shoot the handgun stuff out of the shotgun. They market these for like the Taurus Judge revolver and the Smith & Wesson Governor revolvers that shoot these. Um, so they say 950 feet per second, but, the, but that's because it's rated for the short barrel out of the revolver. Um, out of a shotgun, you're getting about uh, 1,200 feet per second out of these. So this is number four buck. We're going to hit that with this. So it's more of a pellet comparison. Like I said, I wish I had double off for all of them and I just do that. But this is what I had, so I just wanted to throw this in here for fun, uh, whether you guys think it's a great comparison or not. But what I am comparing, in, a, in essence, is a different size of buck at the same velocity. Like I said, these come out of a shotgun at about 1,200. And here is two buck uh, 20 gauge and this is a uh, rated velocity of 1220 and then this is low recoil uh, double lot buckshot which is also 1200 feet per second so I'm not sure how much of a comparison this really is but like I said I just wanted to go ahead and throw it in the video just for fun because otherwise we'd only have three shots and we'd be done so now we have twice the amount of fun so the shotguns I'm using today for this test, I've just brought out some cheapies here. So for the 410, I'll be using this Rossi 410 22 combo. It's the youth model, 22 inch barrel modified choke, 20 gauge NEF anniversary edition, uh, 20 gauge there with a full choke, and that's 22. So that looks to be about 24, 25, something like that. Oh, there we go. It'd help if I point the camera at it. And then on the 12 gauge cylinder bore, uh, 20 inch barrel uh, settled out here. I recently did a review on this. Pretty nice shotgun for the money. They're only like 150 bucks. So uh, if you want to check that out, I'll put a link in the description of that as well. And heck, while I'm at it, that said, I also just reviewed this Rossi here. I'll put a link for that too. I need to get to that 20 gauge. Just think I haven't done that yet. Um, so six of these have different chokes. I'm going to shoot at different distances to try to get it about even. So I'll be closer up with the 12 gauge than I am with the 20 and uh, etc. For the, the 410 there will be kind of in the middle with a modified choke. I'll probably be out of camera, but I'm, I'm going to try to get it a distance to where instead of just being one giant clump, which is obviously going to have the same effect on all of them, I want them to spread out a little bit and kind of pepper the pumpkin with it. So 
Uh, I'm gonna do my best job guessing there, so no guarantees, but we'll see what happens. And that, of course, is referring to the buckshot. Obviously, with the slugs, it's not gonna make a difference. So each pumpkin, uh, a lot of people don't know that you can shoot these with almost anything unless you have a really large caliber and a real juicy pumpkin. Uh, your bullets pretty much just go in and out the other side, even with hollow points. Um, so we were filling these with water, and uh, so it's gonna, each one will look like this. I just cut a little cap out like that, just enough to fill it up. I got a bunch of cases of water up there, and uh, we'll fill them to the top put the plug back in and shoot them so with the water in there we'll get a more explosive effect or we'll get a explosive effect because um, with without the water in there it just put right through it the slugs might crack them in half but uh, trust me it's gonna be a whole lot more entertaining with water in them all right first up we'll do 410 number four buck then the 20 gauge two buck and then the 12 gauge uh, double lot buck and then we'll switch to slugs in the same order Well, <laughs> let's see, the pumpkin was there and I was right by that lead sled, not quite 10 yards, probably about six, seven yards there. And uh, <laughs> it's still grouped pretty tight. So, and I can't get a whole lot further back than that. I'm gonna scoot back a little further with the 20 because it's a full and then with the 12, I'll scoot up a little more because it's a cylinder bore, but that's about the extent of what I can do there with that. So, there's your entry and exit. Okay, so now with the 20 gauge, two buck. Well, that is not what I wanted to happen, but hey, we can see what the individual pellets did, and then I'm going to hit it again real quick. So, uh, I must have pulled that high right, I guess. There's your pellet impacts. That's where most of the group went. And there's out the back, so let me let me hit that again real quick. Although now, uh, a bunch of the water's missing. Uh, not sure what's going to happen. It's not going to be nearly as, a, as explosive, but I'll try to aim a little lower. Ah, much better. <laughs> you can see the difference between just individual pellets and then when they're all grouped together. I did scoot up just a tad bit. Uh, pretty much that first shot was clear back there by the table, an extra five yards. Uh, I scooted back up to about where I was with the 410 for that last one because, well, honestly, I was worried there wasn't any more water in it, but there must have been because. All right, now, uh, and 12 gauge double lot. I'm just going to sit back there where I did with the 410. And that second shot with the 20 gauge, same spot. That was great. <laughs> just wait till the slugs, even the 410, just should completely disintegrate one filled with water. But like I said, though, I guarantee you, because I've done it before, I shoot one without water. Well, pfft, ah, I can't talk. If I shoot one without water with the 410 slug, it is just pfft, right through it, front and out the back, leave a hole about that big, probably. Uh, so to get any real effect at all, you have to fill them with water. And I almost forgot to show you what was left because, well, there's nothing left. We got some pieces right here, stuff everywhere, and it looks like a bunch of it fell over here, too. All right, 410 slug, 
Then we'll do 20 gauge and then 12 gauge. All right, so that's about what I expected. So that means the 20 and 12 is gonna do the same thing. However, we got two different camera angles. So you should see the larger ones throw pieces farther and wider. All right, now we got the 20 gauge slug. And now lastly, the 12 gauge slug. All right, so these ones up front here were from the pistol video I mentioned. Again, link in the description if you missed that. So here's the entry from your four buck with the 410, 20 gauge, two buck, and then pretty much everything else is everywhere else. So 12 gauge, double lot, and all three slugs. There's what's left. So as I said, I just did a version of this and all the uh, semi-auto pistols there link in the description if you missed that so we just wrapped up shotgun obviously and then with these remaining ones i have center fire rifle so that'll be coming up shortly after this one that said if you're new to the channel i've done a whole bunch of these not just with pumpkins but uh so far with the pistols we've done like cabbage soda pop uh, concrete blocks uh, watermelons, which I think I mentioned the watermelon one earlier, maybe all of them. I'll put the water one, uh, watermelon one link in the description as well if you missed that, but it's with pistols. Uh, but I wanted to get all these pumpkin ones done because it's seasonal right now, and then we'll get back and do the center blocks cabbage soda pop and uh, watermelon and all that with shotgun and center fire as well because thus far I've only done it with the pistols. So if you don't want to miss that, be sure to subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Uh, like I said, if you're new, there's a couple links in the description for you for the other ones mentioned, but there's also a whole bunch more. You can just give a scroll through the channel and check it out. If you want to get yourself anything you see me use in the videos, like some of these steel targets, links are in the description. Uh, the earmuffs I use, uh, shooting target stand targets, shooting bag there, etc. All links are in the description for things I use in the videos. But I appreciate you all stopping in. I hope you liked the video. If you did, be sure to leave me a like. If you know someone else who'd like to see pumpkins blown up with 410, 20, and 12 gauge, be sure to share the video. That said, I hope to see you on the upcoming ones. Until then, I'll catch you later.